for this heavyweight collision. Coleman is three years his elder, who has weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, Mark Coleman, Derek Lewis. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Lewis. Black trunks for Coleman. Heavyweight national wrestling champion at Ohio State, Mark the Hammer Coleman, the UFC Hall of Famer. He's adapted his wrestling very well to MMA, and it doesn't matter. Even as he gets older, Joe, he is always a threat no matter who he fights. Well, he's still a very strong man, and he's still an excellent grappler, and he's still very hungry and motivated to fight. Mark the Hammer Coleman is always going to be a dangerous guy. He's got knockout power in his fist, his ground and pound is ferocious, and his double leg is one of the best in the business. Joe, that's a good hook right there. That's going to do some damage. Exactly. He slips the left hand. Connected there. They're going after it quick here. Oh, oh big right hand. hand. Man, he's in big trouble here. Hard shot from the clinch. Look at this. Take down. He is getting off some huge punches here. And now he's in full mount. Side control. There he goes. Back Joe to mount out. again. Excellent posture. Now he gets the full mount again. Looking for the arm bar, looking for the finish. He got his arm free. Took the back mount. Lewis got the full mount again. He hip escapes from the full mount. Man, a ton of damage has been done. And his left eye is really starting to swell up. Back up. Just that quick slip, and he'll come right back at you. Good right hook. And he gets the hook to go. He's been trying to land that throughout the fight, Jim. And that time he did, and it did some damage. Couldn't agree with you more. Shoots in for the takedown. Lewis with the double. Oh, he's going for a guillotine. Oh, he's in big trouble. He's free. That guillotine was close. Half guard. Full mount. Joe, these fighters need to engage, or the ref's gonna stand them up. Sometimes you see this, sometimes you see two guys who are very evenly matched, and when it goes to the ground, they stifle each other. Oh, we got tagged! Joe, look for him to set up that hook again. Missed that shot. Joe, look for him to throw the hook again. And a right behind it. A ton of quickness possessed by both of these men. And he completes a single leg takedown. Really nice movement on the ground. Beautiful sweep. Joey defends the head strike with the parry. Man, his face is a mess. Nice job slipping the punch. Nice him with that uppercut. uppercut. Hard jab. Wow. Oh, oh, combination. Wow, another big jab scores. Oh, he's landing. Oh, that one hurt him. Vicious shot to the body. Big takedown. He's got a guillotine. Looks like he's got that guillotine locked in tight. Now it's deeper. Trying to choke him out. Outstanding. And it is all over. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory.
Once again, here's our fight replay. As so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Mark the Hammer Coleman! Mark Coleman earns the win by submission.